Dear students, hope you all are doing good. In the first video, I explained all the opportunities available to instrumentation students if the GATE score is more than 725 and belongs to general category. And in this particular video, I would like to explain all the opportunities available to instrumentation students if that particular student falls in the category, general category, and if the GATE score is in between 600 and 725. And suppose, as I said even in the previous video, the GATE score cutoffs to OBC category and SCHT category will be definitely less than the general category. So let me take general category as a reference. So in this particular video, as I said, I will explain all the opportunities available to the instrumentation student if the student belongs to general category and the GATE score is somewhere around 600 to 725. And if the student belongs to OBC category, and the GATE score is somewhere around 500 to 650 and SCHT because down the trend like if the GATE score is less so then there won't be too there won't be too much difference between SC and ST category so that's why I mentioned together here so in this particular video you will come to know what are all the available opportunities if the student belongs to SC and ST category and the GATE score is somewhere around 6, uh, 375 to 450 so Dear students, you should understand this point. Definitely, once your GATE score is less, then obviously the available opportunities will be less as usual. So, in this particular video, you see clearly that there are majorly four opportunities are there. The first thing is in higher studies, masters, MTech. One can select MTech, or you can also select MS and integrated PhD, or else you can take any of the specialization that is belongs to interdisciplinary and Naturally, the next one is going to be uh, top universities. You can do pursue your masters from the top universities. And also, chances will be there into PSUs, but those chances will be quite low. Because they, you cannot expect like uh, uh, the same chances, chances will be provided to you if you are uh, having the gate score in between 600 and 725. Definitely, the uh, chances will be low. Now, let me come to the point uh, directly. If you are really aiming for masters, if you really aim for masters, then the available opportunities are either into new either new IITs or all NITs. All NITs in the sense uh, it starts from the topmost NITs to newly established NITs. So, for example, let me take uh, a new IITs. New IITs in the sense you can consider IIT Hyderabad and IIT Gandhinagar. Remember, my friends, uh, IIT Hyderabad is uh, actually leading. Probably in one or two years, it may come uh, to the top, in uh, I mean top category uh, institutions. IIT Hyderabad, even though it is newly established compared to the older IITs, I generally prefer that IIT Hyderabad is one of the good institutions. So people can consider that as equivalent to the IIT Roorkee or IIT Gauhati. So IIT Hyderabad, IIT Gandhinagar, and all the newly established IITs. And when it comes to NITs. Start from the topmost NIT, that is NIT Trichy or Warangal, and uh, as well as Suratkal and Calicut, Rorkela, and almost all the NITs. In this particular NITs, as well as new IITs, all these specializations, that is, stands from VLSI and microelectronics, because remember this thing, VLSI and microelectronics in IIT Hyderabad, as well as even in NIT Trichy it is treated as one of the premier specialization in that particular colleges because the uh, you know like opportunities once you complete your masters uh, are in large scale that's it. so VLSA and microelectronics and then control and automation as usually instrumentation and biomedical instrumentation process control instrumentation as I said process control instrumentation is available only in NIT Tirchi and it is one of the good branch but remember the package once you complete this process control instrumentation you cannot expect the same kind of package what a student get from VLSA and microelectronics. Definitely it will be less than that. But it is also one of the good branch in NIT Trichy. And one more thing, aerospace. Aerospace, this department, actually it, you know like uh, it demands a high score. But in aerospace department, there is a specialization called control and dynamics. So that particular specialization, control and dy dynamics, is generally offered to instrumentation student also. Of course, you require to have good grade score for that. This is all about the master specialization. And uh, remember this point also. If you are falling in this particular grade score, then I strongly recommend apply for new IITs. New IITs 
and moderately top level not like too much top level like uh, IIT Karakpur and IIT Madras newly established but good colleges that's what I mean to say and next coming to the masters MS MS as well as integrated PhD as I said when your grade score is low obviously the opportunities available to you will be less naturally now if you are not able to get masters from the old IITs as well as IAC then there is one more opportunity available to you that is you can pursue MS or integrated PhD but as I said even in the previous video MS takes minimum of 2.5 to 3 years and uh, uh, we cannot uh, I mean like uh, no in short can assure you the placement if you do if you pursue your MS in India exclusively the only thing is if a student is really passionate about doing research then I strongly recommend it is better to select MS or integrated PhD compared to even masters also MTech also okay and those students who belongs to these particular ranges you can opt for MS and integrated PhD in IISC as well as old IITs you all by this point of time you all might be knowing that old IITs in the sense uh, IIT Madras, IIT Bombay as well as IIT Delhi, IIT Karpur, IIT Kanpur and IIT Roorkee and IIT Gavati so you are completely eligible for uh, all these IITs to pursue masters uh, MS in research as well as integrated PhD I hope by this time I am very clear that two things you need to remember if you are falling in this range you are eligible to get these things I mean masters in new IITs and all IITs as well as you are also eligible because chances are getting these specializations will be more in IIC as well as old IITs this is about one side of the coin and the other part of the same story is interdisciplinary branches most of the people are not much aware of these interdisciplinary branches uh, I will try to do my best and I will try to record one more video only on interdisciplinary branches give me some time so in interdisciplinary branches nanoscience especially nanoscience is a hot cake in IISC Bangalore and reliability engineering reliability engineering is there in IIT Karakpur most of the people they don't know okay but you can search this information in the website of IIT Karakpur reliability engineering and then operational research this is actually more or less it is, it is a kind of mechanical branch but instrumentation students also eligible in that and system science system science when I mention like this not only system science system automation system control engineering and control and system control systems all this will be more or less will be treated like you know same kind of branch and then mechatronics I just want to mention let me take one minute time to make this thing clear mechatronics if you look at this it is partially belongs to mechanical students and it is equally belongs to the electronic students so in fact Mechatronics is you know like a modern trend in sensors and actuators. So I strongly recommend if one is too much interested to go for core jobs, you can select mechatronics. But of course, mechatronics is not the course that is offered by all the IITs and NITs. So you need to do some homework. You need to go to the website of each IIT and NIT, and you should find whether that particular college is offering mechatronics course or not. If it is offering, according to my knowledge. The cutoff required, I mean the gate score required to take that particular specialization is comparatively low when you compare with these branches, I mean these specializations. And that is about mechatronics. And naturally, as I said even in the previous uh, video also, energy science is another specialization that is offered to instrumentation students. And usually the gate score required for to get these branches, I mean these specializations, is comparatively low. And coming to the last one that is sensors and internet of things this particular branch it is eligible this specialization is offered to instrumentation students in IIT Jodhpur and trust me my dear friends this specialization has very very good placement record so I strongly recommend if you are not able to get new IITs straight away I mean uh, top NITs then straight away you can opt for this one that is IIT Jodhpur I will be very happy if you note down this thing that is sensors and internet of things in IIT Jodhpur. This is the complete story related to interdisciplinary. And the next one is going to be top universities. Mostly according to my experience, if your GATE score 
belongs to this range 95 percent of chances are there either you will be settled in new iits or any one of the nit or else maybe old iits but related to ms course if not you can keep at worst level you can keep these colleges in your hand that is delhi college of engineering and dtu i won't take uh, these two as different you can consider as a single one and jadavpur university in west bengal and then mit that is not that mit mit means madras institute of technology that is uh, actually in chennai it's one of the good college for instrumentation students where even placement is also good and vit well in vit well there is one uh, branch uh, called uh, sensors and systems and that is also treated as one of the good course in vit well and even if you are out of all these things then even you have one more option that is top triple it's top triple it's in the sense uh triple it kanchipuram there is a one branch one specialization called engineering system design electronic system design and mechanical system design so when you take a course like design oriented course in triple it's definitely you will have so many opportunities and instrumentation students are eligible for that embedded system design or engineering system i mean electronic system design or mechanical system design this kind of branches and my suggestion is if you are not able to get any of this then straight away you can select triple it's even compared to the top universities of course dc is a different one because dc offers very good placement sometimes uh, depending upon the branch sometimes i strongly recommend uh, even it is not suggestible to go to established nits compared to the dc because dc has a very strong placement record this is all about uh, all the colleges uh, where uh, where one uh, a student who belongs to this range can get and when it comes to psus i would like to mention this point very clearly if you are in this range getting the recruitment in psc is very difficult chance trust me almost 95% it is not possible and remaining 5% you know it is your luck one thing it is sure that you will going to get a call letter from particular psu that is if oeng is recruits based on the gate score chances are there you may get call letter but it's quite difficult to get into uh, i mean to uh, complete the recruitment process and to get into that particular company because the recruitment in psu not only depends on the gate score it also depends on the interview process even though your interview is very good but if your gate score is too low then it's uh, not possible to clear the interview that's why i strongly recommend the students if you are belongs to this particular ranges then have the less hope on psus and try to fight maximum for these things okay so in the next upcoming videos i will uh, clearly mention how will be the bark interview how will be ioc interview and when this interview because many students are regularly messaging me uh, asking a question like sir please explain about the bark interview process or ioc interview process or when this interview process so in upcoming videos i will explain all these things clearly don't get panic okay and stay connected with me the next few days one by one i will going to give all the details thank you